know, as a mom, it's really tempting sometimes to lose your identity to taking care of kids. I have teenagers, I have four kids in total, and as they've become all independent, all driving themselves, taking themselves to practices, I sort of feel like part of my role got relegated to making lunch in the morning. And so I realized how little they really need me at this point on the physical side, emotionally, support-wise, they need me. But therefore, it's really important for a mom to retain their own sense of identity, which then makes you a more interesting parent. Before I became a mom, I didn't have a working mom role model. And um, I think I bought into a lot of the stereotypes about working moms being frazzled and not doing anything well because they were trying to do all of the things. But I have found that being a mom has enhanced my career. I think I'm more grounded. I think I'm more empathetic of other colleagues and coworkers who may have a lot going on in their lives. And I think a lot of the skills that I use as a mom, I also use with my own team. Tips for moms to be successful and true for anybody to be successful is be flexible. A lot of us like to be in our comfort zone. We like to do the same job we've done for years, but there's no reward for being safe. So go out and look for a change. Don't be afraid of that new job or the new project that's coming up. Everybody understands at the start that you're learning. Um, they, you know, If you ask for help, they'll give you the help and you'll be surprised at how much you're gonna grow by seeking that change. I would say you definitely have to consider what path you wanna take in terms of a family. For me personally, once I had chosen what industry I wanted to be in, I tried a few different jobs to figure out how I would combine my professional aspirations with my family aspirations. And this is before I was even married or had children, but I would definitely recommend that and take a look at the senior ladies around the office and how they're able to balance both their career and family life, and then determine if that's something that you can do or can't do. Having a family drastically changes your life, whether you think it does or not. So just not be too hard on yourself when something has to shift a little or your focus has to shift or you're not able to give specific uh, time or attention to something as much as you had before. I think that's, that's really important. The other thing is to set clear expectations of the people around you, whether it's in your house or in the people that you work for. It's a partnership and even if you have older children in the home, everybody has to step up and have some additional responsibility. I think, you know, raising a family for me has, you know, changed my priorities over the years. For me, my kids have always been my motivator. They've, you know, been the reason why I do this. I'm a better mom because I work and because I'm fulfilled. They've always been, you know, the, the driving force behind it. I became more ambitious because they were watching me. 